That was not. And that's okay. That I was. Told, I told the truth. No, no, you did not. We can talk about it again. I'll say I'll give you the exact same answer. Go ahead. How long did uh, you and that one girl date in what? Eighth grade? How long? About six months, really. That is okay. See, everyone, he's already lying. I'm not lying, lying, bro. I'm not lying. He's already lying. I'm not lying. That means it's six months. That is a lie. Look, I got feelings, old feelings. My demons, they chilling. They playing the victim, but really they villains. The drugs always healing. They know my feelings. I got to the back because I'm focused on winning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Can you seriously, like, Am I just scoot I'm, over this a little bit? You just feel way too close, bro. I, I, I didn't feel like close to you. Way too close. Okay. All right, we're good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 22 after 21 of the Center Fluid Podcast. I am your host, Andre Ross Manith. As always, I am joined by. Team Features. Hey, welcome to episode 22, Astro 21. I said it again. Kind of redundant. But we're here. We're live. Having a good time. And today's topics include such as one like this. Uh, HBO Max probably has the worst streaming service uh, I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you agree? <laughs> yes. Uh, we, we, try to watch, we try to watch Space Jam, right? We what was it? it? It was buffering every two seconds, wasn't it? We watched Space Jam in hieroglyphics, really. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. Um, on top of this, uh, I, can, I can go into it more. They're, they're uh, like, like when you flip through the menus, glitchy as hell, right? <laughs> glitchy as hell. Um, you go too far, you get mad because then you got to take all the way back through because I think it's lagging so much. It's like, it's like HBO Max just hates their viewers, honestly. It's, 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 it's horrible. Bro, I've been trying to watch Rush Hour uh, 3, I think it is, and I can't watch it because the audio is so far ahead mm -hmm. of the visual. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. I, bro, I tried to watch the movie one day just because it's such a good movie. Uh, Rush Hour, the Rush Hour series are probably one of the greatest series of all time. That's just my personal opinion. But I was trying to watch it, bro, and for some reason the movie ended, but I could still hear voices on a black screen. I've never felt so uncomfortable in my life. Uh, I just I didn't know what I was. I was like, wow. Yeah. I, I watched eight seasons of Game of Thrones on HBO Max, and that was a struggle. So. Oh, you 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 was committed. Mhm. Mm I was. Uh, Game of Thrones was great, except for the final couple of seasons there. But you know, it was a struggle with HBO Max being that garbage. You know. But HBO Max got mad potential. But it, it could it also be because like so many people are using it at one time. No, that's not possible. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are using Disney Plus too, and that's perfectly fine, right? Who uses Disney Plus? Pe people use Disney Plus anymore. I'm pretty sure Disney Plus ha has has more uh, subscribers than HBO Max. Do uh, you think so? Let's see what I can find on Google, huh? You mean to tell me that has more than that? HBO Max has more watchers than viewers. No, than I, Plus. I said Disney Plus has more watchers and viewers than HBO Max. No. 103.6 million subscribers. For who? Disney Plus? Disney Plus. And then how many for um, HBO Max do I'm we have? I'm looking it up. Do -do 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 -do. Elmo's World. Let's see. 47 million. How new is HBO Max? It's older than Disney Plus. Jesus Christ! Yeah. And I... also because Disney has is probably one of the most you know profitable companies in the world. On top of that, I mean... Disney's everywhere because, you know, they're they're in all forms of entertainment. They have games, they have TV, they have movies, they have everything. They have everything under your they have everything on lockdown, okay? I mean I mean it wasn't too long ago when people were talking about Disney taking over the world, you know? <laughs> that, that that was real conversation. Remember the awkward phase in Disney to where they were like putting out um T V shows and movies that just wasn't good and the world knew it wasn't good? Like what? Hatching Pete? Yeah, I, I agree, hundred percent. Uh, what did you say? Yeah, I said Hatch and Pete is trash. Oh, my. That movie is trash, dude. Hatch and Pete is the best. The it's not. Hatch and Pete is one of the best Disney movies ever. That's not true. It's not even close. Why to do y'all not remember this movie? It's a bottom five movie of all time. Bottom five of what? Bottom five movie of all time. It's a top three movie and it's not two or one, two or three. Jesus. Hatch and Pete? Hatch and Pete is terrible. So give me your top five. Give me, give me, give me good five shows from Disney. Not movies, five shows, just off the five top of your head. Five shows off the dome. Don't make it like that, but yeah, go ahead, name Bro, them. give me Jesse. Give me, um... Ooh, yeeks. I haven't, I haven't thought about this in, like, forever. Uh, Jesse was good. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck. Give me, um... Yikes. You wasn't a Disney-ass nigga, was you? No, I was, but I just, I... Can't remember any shows right now for some reason. So you said Jesse. I said Jesse. The, the, the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Sweet Life on Deck. That type of thing. Um. You you can include XD. Good? You can include Disney XD in there too. I don't really watch Disney XD. Why not? 
Wasn't a fan. You didn't have Disney XD, did you? No, we had Disney XD. I was not watching those Zeke and Luther, whatever that garbage shit was. Well, then why did you try to handle Zeke and Luther? <laughs> that junk was trash. Bro, you was literally hating. I, I was also not watching no Lab Rats. Lab Rats was trash, too. Okay, the first two the first two seasons were solid. Garbage. I was literally watching it earlier. Garbage. Mighty Man, I literally don't know what, bro. Apparently. What is Mighty? What, Mighty what? Mighty Man? I don't know what that is. So, allegedly, or apparently. The Ant Farm was good. There you go. Was Ant Farm good or was Ant Farm good? It was good. Chad McLean? Yeah, you know exactly what I meant. So, how do you feel about Ant Farm now? Great. So, what if someone else was the main character and it wasn't China Ant McLean? Irrelevant, because that's not what happened. All right, so let's all right, so let's talk about the show really good or not. Was the show good? Yeah. No, it was not. Why not? That was the wackest show ever. China and McLean saved it. If one character has to save save a show, how good is the show really? I only you're watch- telling me that you watched that garbage show Zeke and Luther. It was not garbage, but yes, that shit was garbage. It wasn't garbage. What what, 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 was that, what was that one show you watched too? What was that? The, the dudes on the island or whatever? Pair of Kings? Yeah, garbage. What the? It's wrong with you. <laughs> garbage. Garbage. You're telling me Pair of Kings is garbage. Garbage. Deacon Luther is. Garbage. And Lab Rats is. Garbage. And Nick is question my childhood? I'm, I, I, I'm taking Dog with a Blog over any of those, straight up. Okay, so now you're just not being nah, realistic. I'm, I'm taking Dog with a Blog. Dog with a Blog. Dog with a Blog over all. Dog with a blog. Dog with a blog overall. What in the... Yeah. Are you joking, right? I'm not joking. I'm being dead You serious. was watching Dog with a blog? Absolutely. Andre, so the you... dog was talking. Why would I not watch that? So when you got home from school, you watched Dog with a blog? Yes. When you got home from school, you started watching Dog with a blog? Absolutely. There is no way... Good Luck my... Charlie also was goaded. Okay, 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 okay. That's a real nigga show. Good Luck Charlie is a real nigga show. Austin and Alley was mid. What? Austin mid mid Alley. what like like mid mid what, what you what you mean mid 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 what mid like good good no like eh what are we talking about that's one of the greatest shows that Disney ever made Austin and Alley yes they had a uh, Ross Lynch in there who later went on to play Jeffrey Dahmer Laura Moreno Marino I don't know her name Laura Mar- what oh Laura Moreno some some that's a good show mid it's like mid tier you know mid tier I put that monk- I, I put that drunk in a C tier. What you got eight different Disney shows then? That that's that, that's like the good choice. We love Zach and Cody's up there, you know. Okay, 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 okay. Well, that looks like those in their own tier, you know. So now let's make them S tier movies. Let's make them S tier shows. Them S tier shows, cause those the, those are shows that are too good to be in an A tier. So we gotta make them S tier. What do you have in S tier? Uh, I would have those. I would have those two too. So I'm, I'm gonna look up Disney shows real quick. Actually, I'm gonna go look at Disney Plus real quick. I'm incredibly lost. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna we gonna look up a few Disney shows. Where where am I going here? There it is. Kicking it oh kicking it is also S tier. No it's not. Kicking, kicking it's A tier. Trash. What do you mean it's trash? Kicking it is garbage. Oh my I kicking can't. I can't, I can't. It is I can't terrible. I can't. So you like Wreck It Ralph too? No. Okay, I'll I'll try to trick wow. you. I'll try to trick you. Quick. I didn't know they had a section like that. What? They have a section on the Disney Plus app that it's like they have like movies and shows inspired by Disney Park. That's pretty cool. Shake it up, S. Shake it up in S tier. That's what that show was called. There you go. Shake it up. Shout out Zendaya. Zendaya. Shake it up is an S tier this Disney show. That needs that needs to be known. What else? What else we got here? Ducktales. I never watched that. No one watched Ducktales. What the f- is bunked? <laughs> what? What is what? What the fuck is bunked? I I, I think that was a Jesse spinoff. That bitch had five seasons. <laughs> hey, yo, who was financing the show Bumped? And what is that? Hey, bro, you already know what to do, bro. Dog with a blog in there. There's no way you like Dog with a blog. Dog with a blog was fire. Girl Meets World was trash. Girl Meets World is Girl trash? Girl Meets World was garbage, dude. Girl bro, Me- listen. Girl Meets World was a cash grab of, for, for, for all the nostalgic kids that watch Boy Meets World. Girl Meets World was a garbage. Show Horrible. Was, it was hard. It was filled with just, it was just filled with callbacks and references. It was a cash grab trying to take advantage of your nostalgia. Stop it. Girl Me Tool is terrible. Girl Me Tool is not terrible. Girl Me Tool is terrible. Living Maddie was okay. Girl Me Tool was terrible, but Living Maddie was good? Absolutely. Sunny with a chance. That's, that's S tier. That's hard. That's so random. It's also S tier too. Let's be real. Never forget Jump In. <laughs> Who, bro? No, I'm going back. I'm going back to that, bro. Who, what's, what's her name? Rowan Blankard? 
Sabrina Carpenter? They they carry they own in that show. Who? Sabrina Carpenter? Who the fuck is Sabrina Carpenter? The little white girl with the blonde hair? Are you talking about Grooming's World still? Yes. Bro, that show was trash. What? Did you that watch it? That show was garbage. Did you Bro, watch it? literally in that show, there was no... I saw this on Twitter. There was a scene where... um, Who, who, who was that? Who's that one dumbass kid? What was his name? He had a stupid ass name. Luca? Lucas? No. The the, the, the the kid, he had like he had like dirty blonde hair. The little kid? Yeah, no, like not the little kid, but like he was like... He was like there. He was in the same grade. He, he had a stupid ass name. Well, his name was like... Uh, it started with like an F. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah. about. I know what you're talking about. There was an episode where, like, like he went he went to a doctor's appointment or something, and like they were like, the doctor diagnosed him with uh with a form of autism, and the characters in that show were like, "Yo, autism is bad," and and they and they tried instead of accepting him for having that autism, which he didn't end up having in the end, they tried to make it seem like it was the worst thing in the world and that he was dying from a disease. The writing was awful, the characters were stupid, the show was bad. It's a cash grab. The show was trash. The kid's name was Farkle, by the way. There you go. That was, that was a stupid name. Garbage. Hold on. Now, yeah. you did bring up some stuff. But let's not act like every TV show doesn't have a dumb moment. Dog with a blog. Bro, dog with a blog is hard. Dog with a blog. Yeah. Every episode was trash. Every episode was trash. Why was the mom better than the actual kids? I'm, I'm... That's not what I'm watching the show for, Jamari. So what you watching the show for? Entertainment? Well, I'm watching the show for, for the talking dog, bro. Martha Speaks was hard. Martha Speaks? I know what that is. Yeah, it was hard, wasn't it? Mar- now, this is the... My- Martha Speaks is better than Curious George. Okay, okay. Now, let's no, be no, real. No, 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 no. Let's be real. No let's be way. real. Let's there's talk no about it. There's no way. Let's talk there's about it. There's no way. There's let's no talk way. About it. There's no way. We can talk about it if you want to. There's no way. Explain that to me, please. Martha Speaks is more entertaining than Curious George. That's not possible. How? That's not possible. What memorable moments does Curious George Bro, have? When the man with the yellow hat took him to the zoo. The nigga with the, the, nigga with the yellow hiccup? You tripping. I, I, I was a huge fan of Curious George, bro. I remember it was my... What was I? I was turning like four? I had a Curious George birthday party. I was I was decked out. It was fantastic. And you were tripping on that one. I know for a fact when I was younger, I PBS was underrated. By the way, in fact, in fact, back then I actually watched PBS more than I watched Disney Channel because it, it was that good. Okay, you know they, they had the because it, the lineup went like this, right? It, it went, it went, it went. Martha Speaks followed by Word Girl followed by Electric Company. Tell me that lineup's not hard. Now Word Girl is Word Girl is hard. Yeah, I just don't electric, electric company. company. You don't know what Electric Company is? I don't know what that is. Boy, I need to I need to put you on about Electric but Electric Company went hard. Hold There's on. one more show that also went good too. They were, it had to do with like words, stuff like that. It wasn't Word Girl. There was another show just like that. And I promise you, it was not Word Word Girl, dude. What was it? Those are company been known for a long time. They got the theme song. Hopefully, you don't get copyright right for this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to talk over it, though. It's fine. No, no. Just let it play out for a little bit. What is it called? Electric Company. Your theme song. I'm on an ad right now. Um, yeah, you going to put it on people's ear? Jesus Christ, Andre. I know what that is. I know what that is. I know what that is. I know yeah, that is. that goes hard, don't it? Oh, and then of course they had uh, Arthur on PBS. Nah, let's be real. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you serious? Arthur? Hey, yeah, now nah, he tripped. No, Arthur no, wasn't tripped. even better than Clifford. Clifford the Big Red Dog? Let's be okay. They're 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 about on the same. They're about on they're about on the same timeline, in my opinion. They're about the same. I, I but, but 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 I'd give the slight edge to Arthur. I think you can go either way. Because uh, Clifford wasn't talking like Martha, so. <laughs> it's that simple. Look, I like my talking dogs. What can I say? Talking dogs is where it's at. So do you need a dog for the four-hour apartment? Can you stop talking about that? Stop bringing that up. We're not talking about this right now. Fine. So well, hard. Trey, be like that. Arthur was... Arthur was fantastic. Look, here's, here's how you know a show is goaded, right? When one character doesn't have to carry the show, like... No, no, no. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Mm. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Mm. Continue. Fuck up. Come on, speak. Speak. Speed. All right, anyway. You know what show was goaded is that when... Uh, years later, when we're all grown up, you can just start pulling memes from the show. Arthur has, has meme ability. The, have you noticed that? The only Arthur... Have, have you noticed that meme ability? 
How, how, do you ever watch Backyard Against? Backyard Against went hard. You know what Backyard Against is, do you? Uniqua? I know what Backyard Against is. You know what Backyard Against is. Pablo? Me- yes, I know what that meme is. Ability. Meme ability. Meme ability. What means? Meme ability. Bro, ha, ha, have you not seen how, how they kept bringing up the, the Castaway song on TikTok? It's all over the place. Meme ability. Just grabbing from the past is what people do these days. Then they go back to the past and get the nostalgia. It's, it's how you do it. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't hear anybody talking about Pair of Kings like that, Jamari. What, what's going on? But, what's going on with Pair of Kings, bro? <laughs> to be fair, though, I don't see anybody talking about Dog with the Vlog. So you know what? You can have that one, but that's cool. You, you can have that one. That's cool. I don't care about that one that much. But I'm just saying, bro. Meme ability. It's all, it's all about grabbing from the past. Gromie's World was garbage. Nobody talked about that show anymore. That show was trash. The only, the only time people talk about that show is when they slandered it like I saw on Twitter. They were like, this show was garbage. Look at this scene, how garbage it was. Bro, that's one scene. Those were two bad bitches, bro. What are you talking no, about? No, they were not, bro. Yes, they were. Look, look at my Instagram right now. Do you? Look at my Instagram You're right not going to win that. Look at my Instagram right now. You're telling me right now. the girls from Girl Beats right were not bad. No. You finna be in your feelings. Sabrina Carpenter is not bad. No. Wait, let's see how old she is first. She's of age. She was older than us. We were we watching it while we yeah, were, we're, exactly. we're around the same age. So let's not add, let's not add like we're doing anything weird. Sabrina Carpenter. She has to be like 20 years old. She's 22 two years old. She is old enough to cross the street. Sabrina I don't like Car- how you said that. Okay. She did not draw the good end of the stick. Wait, you don't, tripping, bro. Yeah. don't look at that <laughs> picture. Tripping, don't look at that picture. <laughs> tripping, bro. Let me find a good picture. The fact that I gotta say, let me yeah, find a good exactly. picture. Yeah, exactly. It's already over. It's already over. The other one was It's already over. It's already over. It's already over. Rowan. Atkinson? Shout out Rowan Atkinson. Playing Mr. Bean. Who? Mr. Bean? Well, like well, the bumbling idiot spy guy. Bro, I'm gonna stop. Let me see, bro. All right, bro. Let me see. They weren't in the prettiest, see, but bro. they... No, no, let me see, let me see, let me see. Bro, she's... Just let me... Just... They're not the... Stop pulling up pictures, bro. I didn't... Stop. Get my goddamn phone. Came through tripping. We're back. Came through tripping, huh? Anyways, that's what I'm saying. Mutability. People like to pull from the past, and that's what makes it a good show right there. Boom. I don't. I don't see anybody talking about kicking it. Kicking it was hard, bro. I don't see anybody talking about kicking it. They just show just like. I don't see anybody talking about kicking it. Also, also, spinoffs. With the exception of that garbage show, Girl Meets World. Spinoffs is also what makes makes a good show. Girl Meets World was a garbage spinoff. It didn't. It didn't. It was. It was unnecessary. It didn't need to be made. But you realize how how it's why High School Musical is so goaded. You talk crap on the spinoff. I, 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 I never. I never. The spinoff had to be good. With the exception of Girl Meets World, that is garbage. But um, the High School Musical spinoff is way better than I thought it would be. You haven't seen it. Don't care. See, now you're being ignorant. Good. What about it? I don't. I don't do it, damn. All right, so we can't talk about this. Then. Cool. Don't that's care. like me trying to trash Suicide Squad. I haven't don't seen care. it yet. Go ahead and trash it. No, that's ignorant. Go ahead and trash it. No, that's trash ignorant. it. Say, go, go ahead and say something bad about nah, it. Nah, I've only heard good reviews. Say something bad about, about, about it. Good, say good something good bad about 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 so okay, then, yeah. I don't want to trash it. Wait for me. I'll trash Wonder Woman. That movie was trash. Wonder Woman had no business being that goddamn awful. It was awful. It was terrible. There ain't no way Wonder Woman was, was that so bad. bad. I was going to say something, though. Do you remember what I was going to talk about? Oh. We have a theory, actually, that you kind of brought up. What's the theory? Will Chamberlain might not have been a real person. Uh, He was 7 foot 1, ran a 4 flat, had a 50 inch vertical, and could lift 500 pounds. And for some reason, there's no documents of his 100 point gain. I mean, there's documents, but there's no mm, footage. There's no, e- even though we were at a point in time in the in the league where like you could re- you could record these games. But it's weird because there's no highlights from that game. It's weird, you know? And a nigga who averaged 50 points a game did not get MVP of the season. I'm oh. telling you, it's because he, the dude, a dude literally averaged a triple-double. They, they don't get... They they, 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 they haven't seen Will Chamberlain put up 50 points a game for how for how long. The dude dropped 100. They don't care about that. We're like, bro, he's averaging triple-double, double-digit in all these categories? Whoa, that's crazy. First time it's ever been done. He was Mr. Triple-Double until Russell Westbrook was born. I need to see what the rest of your team is looking like if I have a nigga on my team who I know for a fact can go out and give me 50 points a night. He was averaging 50 points a game, Andre. Have you already seen the Michael Zimmer video about how the 50-point season isn't even that impressive? He's averaging 50 and 30, Andre. Might change your perspective a little bit. I might might have to watch it. I'll probably watch it on my way home or editing this. But that... It might change your perspective just a little bit. Just a little bit? You think so? Mm -hmm. Like a lot a little bit? A little bit. Okay, but like averaging fifty in a season, dog. Jordan came in averaging like forty. That's actually wild. That's not what Jordan averaged forty. 
He has like 36 his rookie season. Yeah. Nigga must have been throwing that hole in the rim. Yo, you seen me? Uh, you're not on YouTube like that, but I am. Have you seen like these YouTube boxers recently? No. Not YouTube boxers, but like people who do like these YouTube box boxing events. No. We gotta watch one, dude. It's the funniest shit in the world. Like, and it'd be funny because like sometimes the girls really be slugging it out. Like I think I don't know who popularized it, but someone I know, Gideon. You don't know who that is. He's gonna be on the podcast though. So he don't know it yet. What's up, Gideon? Is his name actually Gideon? I'm not gonna lie, I really don't know Gideon's name. All right. He claims it's Demarcus Cousins. That's uh, that's not true. I don't know. I truly have no idea. Boogie Cousins. You know Boogie Cousins. Like I I don't know if his name is actually Demarcus Cousins, but I know he did a he did he blew up off of like a boxing thing. Like, the last, like, uh, first getting knocked out with, like, $1,000 or some junk like that. But. Bro, they got four episodes of Arthur on YouTube? Are you kidding me? Hold on, we're back down. Oh, shit, they got three Arthur episodes. Hold on, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, but nah. Do you, how, how do you think you would hold it in a last to stop box, in a, in a last person to get knocked out when it's $1,000? How do you think you would do? <sighs> I'm not good at, but I'm not, I don't fight in general, so I'm just not even going to put my name in the ring like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get our shit full. Yeah, you, I'm just tripping. I'm going to get my shit knocked out. Then I'm going to become a meme like Nate Robinson. I'm good. I'm good on that. Nate Robinson really had his booty in the air. He really had his, yeah, man. He really had his booty in the air. That's, that's what made it too funny. Nigga really had his booty in the air like that. Just tooted up. Really tooted up. Talk about Fairly Odd. How was Fairly Odd playing? Goaded. Really? Are you kidding me? Did you watch that show? Of course. Go did. Of course. Bro, and then the theme song, bro? Bars. I will say, I'll buy you lunch next podcast if you can recite the theme song. Bro, the only part I know is the... Uh, There's only one part I want to know. It's the uh, large fry chocolate shake, but like it's... Uh, Skin tooth quapa juice. Yeah. Skin <laughs> quapa juice. What is it, Andre? I can't, I can't remember. That's, that's, bro, this is lunch. I just you at work, bro? Uh, you'll be like, hey, send me this. I would have sent it, bro, if you could recite I, it. I, I can't do it. Octus Quapitus, Green Cool Quapitus, Long White Chocolate Cake, Berg White, Almond Shake. Do 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 do. Yeah, you, you, you recite it while I check the figure the camera's still going because I don't like how I said that. Yeah. All right. Tell me this is not bars right here. Obtuse, Rubber Goose, Green Moose, Guava Juice, Giant Snake, Birthday Cake, Large Fries, Chocolate Shake. <laughs> That is bars. Oh my god! Repeat that one more time! Obtuse, rubber goose, green moose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, cake? Large fried chocolate shake. Now you gotta say it like how we did. I, that's not possible. Go, start from the line before. You're a rapper, remember? You got three tracks out, Andre. You have tracks out. I am not. You have tracks out. I am out. not a rapper. You have tracks out. I'm not a rapper. Who, who has a track out, me or you? Tyrell. Alright, so you have more, you had a track out before him! You, you, got, you not, guys, y'all got the same amount of tracks. You do it. Where start it? Right there. Really, my people, buff hot rock. You're not even doing it right. How did that go? It's the um, I see. I feel like you're trying to go me into doing this right now. I'm not. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know how it goes. I, I don't know how it goes. I'll just, I'll just read that part out. I'll just read that part out. What the obtuse? Start the obtuse. Right, right, right. Um, tooth, rubber goose, green goose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, large fried chocolate shake. Also, did, did you know the voice actor for uh, Timmy Turner is actually a woman? Do you know that? I can see that. Yeah. That didn't, that didn't sound it's like uh, Tara Strong, who was also, um, she's a lot of, she she, she was uh, Raven in Teen Titans. Um, She's a good voice actor. Teen Titans, Titans go with the lead. Teen Titans, I like Teen Titans Go. A lot of people don't like it because it they, they think it messes up the original, but I think Teen Titans Go is pretty, it's a fun show. No, it's a fun show. Yeah, it, it it's had, fun. It's a lot of fun. The original was too dark and deadly. Yeah, it was too dark and not, I didn't get, I, I, I like to laugh when I watch stuff sometimes. Like, mm. Especially like superhero stuff. Like, I, I want to get some laughs out of me, but the original didn't really do that for me. It, it doesn't? Not really. I'm going to call this girl back. Do it. Call on the podcast right now. Right now. You won't. You won't. You won't. She's gonna decline my shit, bro. She's probably out right now. <sighs> this is this is very stressful because what she says no, and I just gotta put it in. All right, need to be mad aggressive. Don't get the, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Bitch. If anything, she'll call back. Got mad, nigga. I thank you, Andre, for letting me know that. I actually want to say. Hey, Jamar, you wanna see? By the way. You know I can't see it, right? Oh my bad. Fuck you, bitch. 
Jesus fucking Christ. What's some more good shows that we used to watch when we were younger, dude? Um, I mean, like, what's that? What was there? Was how you how you feel about Wendy Wu Homecoming Queen? It's great. I think that's one of the best Disney movies ever put out. Y- you keep saying that, and I don't like that. How you keep saying that? Oh, you, she's going back. You you really use that term so pick it just pick it up. Anyway, you really use that term so loosely, like best. You use that term best Disney, whatever, so loosely, and I don't like it at all. You know? It's loose to you. I should have answered the me. You was talking, so I was trying to wait for you to get done. You should have just answered anyway. I was going to continue talking regardless of if you picked up or not. Well, I didn't... Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing this week? Working and then nothing. Let's go see Suicide Squad. They have a new one? Yeah, let's go watch it. You said yes? She's good, Mom. She's good. She's good, Mom. That So is that a yes she on here? She can't come, so. You said what? Because she would only be able to stay for a night, so it's not going to work. No. I need this. I need this girl to keep talking. Right, just answer. Uh, what'd you say? Oh my god. Are we on mute? I think she muted us. I'm too stressed right now. Hopefully. Yo. Sorry, I'm back. My mom's talking to me. No, that's fine. So, do you, do you want to go? Yes. Alright. I didn't know there was a new one out. I'll text you. I didn't know there was a new one out. Yeah, it just came out. I'll text you. We're, these we're on the podcast. Okay, I'll text you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Yep. I'm clipping that and I'm putting it on Insta. I don't know about you, but I'm clipping that. Now go ahead and face on some some of your hoes, Andre. Cause that's not like uh, happening. Ah, yeah. I actually so last podcast I'm not gonna put out because I didn't feel like it was worthy enough to put out. Not gonna that's lie. fine. So we can actually recover some of the topics, not the exact same one, cause I shoot myself. We can just go over like the basics of it. Mm. Um, mm. the bro code. Such a. A lot of niggas nowadays don't really know what the bro code is. It's not hard to understand. It's, it's I, fairly simple in the rules to follow. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was never taught the bro code. I thought it was just simple knowledge every Negro knew. It was it's simple uh, etiquette. The the bro knowing the bro code is like knowing how to wash your ass. It's just common knowledge. Squat and wash. Squat and wash. Real talk. I think it gets a little blurry when a girl becomes so bad. You're like, dang, how did he back her? I need her too. But me and you've never been put in a situation. Well, hmm, well. That well, that one girl. Nah, I wouldn't. It wouldn't came between us. But, but now I call dibs on her now. Ooh, this sounds terrible. I don't, I don't give a fuck. So you don't? Yeah, I just sure don't. Well, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going on a date this week. So y- you're not, really. No, I'm not gonna see her. No, you won't. Ever, actually. No, with her. Oh, with her? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Thought you're talking about. Ah, let's not talk about that. But not the bro code, bro. How do you like? How are how are these dudes comfortable, knowing that they that knowing that they bro, was with this girl for a certain period of time and had feeling for her, and you can really come behind and be like, mm, I want her and like her too. That means, you had to have been eyeing her, while your bro was with her. I mean, think about it. How you break up with the how how you been dating 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 this girl for like a year, y'all break up and within three months. You one of your bros is dating dating her. Like when I say bro, I mean one of your close bros is dating dating her. Bro had to have been eyeing her while y'all were dating. Cause mm. It don't make no type of sense. Sounds like Mr. Mustard. I'm not talking about that. Okay. Not at all, dude. But not Tyra. Episode 600. 10K, I tell that story. 10K, uh, cool. 10K, yeah. I tell that story. I, I, I know, uh, I know. Hopefully, I don't, I don't hope that the people that need to. You know what? Let's just. Who cares? I don't know why people care. I was just saying. I was just saying in general. But the girl code is like. Do you think girls have a code like that? Uh, no. Really? Uh. Girls don't give a fuck. Straight up, honestly. Andre, do you trust these bitches? Depends. Depends on the track record. 
Mm, it depends on the track record. Mm-hmm. What's a good track record for you? Um, I don't really feel like there's a need to get into my and what track record. I knew you was going to do this, so go ahead and ask me the question. Cause also I funny how you're not going to put out the podcast that you were just lying up and down in, the, in that one, huh? Just I was lying up and down. I was just not. straight up lying up and down. I, I'm, I was not and lying. I was not going to get put out because because he <laughs> was lying throughout the podcast. <laughs> holding it back, lying. I was not holding we it back. Get on, we broke it, bro. It's okay. I was not holding it back. Man, me and Travis were torching you. That was not. And that's okay. No, I, was told, I told the truth. No, no, you did not. We can talk about it again. I'll, say, I'll give you the exact same answer. Go ahead. How long did uh, you and that one girl date in what? Eighth grade? How long? About six months, really. That is okay. See, hey, well, he's already lying. I'm not lying. lying. I'm not lying. He's already lying. I'm not lying. That means it's six months. That is a lie. We was on and off. That is a months. lie. We no, were you on were and off. No, you were off. We had feelings. You were off. We had feelings. You were off. We had feelings for off. each other. In middle off. school, this off. Off. In off. middle, in middle school, off. Just let me get this out. Just let me talk. That's all I want to do. Just let me talk. Just let me explain myself. Okay. In middle school, in a middle school relationship. One day is equivalent to three it's weeks, lying. and I put that on everything. This nigga is lying. This nigga is lying. Who is lying? This nigga is lying. All right, so how long? How long is a day equivalent in middle school? This nigga is lying. Because in middle school, you can really this kiss nigga is Andre. Lying. You had to, you held hands with a girl for the first time this and kissed on the same day. Let's be real. In normal relationship, relationship that's not that's three months. That's that's three months in, dog. Come on, let's not talk about how you clouded me up too in eighth grade. You clouded me up. Andre, you randomly started dating the most popular girl in middle school. I was just different like that. Ain't no you was just different like that. I was also the most athletic person in the school, arguably. Which yeah, thank probably, God. Which is probably what helped my case. Thank God you said arguably, because that's not I wasn't in there hooping. Yeah. I mean, that's really all you had. Hooping. Yeah, you, you probably have the late grade. Late I was, I was definitely faster than you back then. And I still am, actually. I mean, I run a four flat. What do you run? Five flat? So do you whoop Chamberlain? Yeah. All right, niggas are flying. I Are mean, you lying? so who won the award for best baller? Yeah. Not you. Yes, it was. It was not you. Yes, it was. They gave you an award for best baller? Yes, they did. Do you still have that award? You got proof of this? It was a little piece of paper. You got proof? What's the proof? Bro, I'm not. You got proof? Okay, if you got proof, I don't believe you then. I don't believe this. That's simple. I won it over you. <laughs> sure, sure you did. I, w- I did win it over you. Sure you did. Allegedly. I did win it over you. Allegedly. 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 I won it over you. I like to see proof. Proof? You got proof? They know me. You got proof? Um, no, nah, I don't need to get proof to that. Could you run a six-minute mile, though? Oh, did you run a mile in 12 minutes now? Wait, not today, but I was talking back then. Back then, I ran a, I ran a, I ran a 7.59. Slow as hell. Mm. That's not slow. That's under eight minutes. Slow as hell. A seven... 7.59 is one second under eight minutes. Exactly. Under eight minutes. Yeah, but if you fucking round my bitch up, that hit is eight minutes. Why would you round up? And why would you round up? Because it's so close that like, who gives a fuck? It's closer. To eight, it's, it's closer to eight than it is to seven. So of course you round up. I wouldn't round up. Of course you wouldn't, because it looked bad on your part. It's not gonna look bad. I ran six thirty. You have ran a fucking six thirty. I ran six thirty. First of all, you were probably lying. I ran six thirty. You were probably lying. Run the straightaways. Walk the curves. You was you walked a part of so you ran a mile in six minutes and you walked the curves. Yes, I did six thirty. I was different. It was more of a speed walk, you know? I was just different. I know you were sweaty. Yeah, I was. No hoes. God was going hard, though. You was probably wearing the pink Nike socks that go for 150. Damn right. What about it? The, the big and one shorts? What about it? Man, pop this shit, bro. What about okay, it? nah, but sign up for the hard cut if it gets made it in there. You clouded me up. You did, first of all, the seven minute mile, the six minute, 30 minute mile was fake. You didn't do that. It's real. You probably you probably skipped a lot because that's just not possible. Fine, okay. So if my six thirty didn't happen, then you did not date a girl on and off for six months. We were on and off. No, you weren't. Yes, we was. Okay, if that's the case. Then I ran six thirty. Okay. Why are you trying to relate? You? I ran six thirty. Then there you go. You hit her here first. I ran a six thirty mile. I was just built different. Imagine being on and off with a girl for so long that y'all just say y'all were dating. Six thirty. She wasn't talking to nobody else but 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 me. Six thirty. She just wasn't allowed to date. That's 630. the only, see, that's the thing. I ran six thirty. She wasn't allowed to date. Six thirty. What are you what are you doing? What is this? What are you, what are you doing? What is this? That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Oh. Why are you trying? Why are you trying to downplay what I have? Six thirty. I'm not trying to downplay it. All I know is that I ran a six thirty. Did I ask her out? I ran a six thirty. Okay, you ran a six 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 thirty. Now, did I ask her out? I guess. Did she say yes? No. All right. So you said I was the one lying. Yeah. But now we so can we so we can we start asking you questions about middle school? Nah. Why not? Cause you wanna hold back? 
Now, just yeah. to let y'all know, we recorded a podcast yesterday. You recorded a podcast yesterday, and you were holding back and lying up and down that thing. You know. I was, up and down that thing. not even. Up and down. Up and down lies. Everywhere. Lies everywhere. Doesn't even sound like me. Then, then release the footage, then. <laughs> release the footage, then. Release the footage, then. Release the footage, then. Bro. Uh, release the footage, hey, then. Hey, hey, go follow our Patreon. Uh, release the footage, then. Content. Yeah. Follow the Patreon for bonus content. Uh-huh, release the footage. I'm not. Okay, then. It's not up to okay. cinephile standards. Okay. It's oh, I wonder why. I wonder why. The file got corrupted. Oh, the file got corrupted? <laughs> oh, that's a damn file. I, I, that, that file was on the computer. I saved, I, I saved the footage. I know where that footage is at. I will, extra, I will extract that footage. It's deleted. And release it myself. It's deleted? Mm-hmm. While going that recycling bin. And I will look for it. All right, it might not be going for the trash can, but I know it's don't have it no more, man. Oh, you don't have it anymore? Yeah, so I wonder why. Even if so, the file got this corrupted. Is, this, this, this is how corrupt this podcast is. He takes out the bad. Anything bad he does, he just takes it out. It, it can't get shown. It just can't get shown. But, but when I hold the podcast back once, that entire podcast, he was lying. Holding it back the entire time. You know what? Yeah. Nope. Have a good time, Mr. Solo Podcast. Where you going? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> Um, do you remember the Cinefold podcast? We're taking requests for new podcast members. We're actually looking to have some guests on here, so if you guys are interested in joining our podcast, uh, we kind of want to get into this motion where we start holding guests every Monday. So if you're interested in joining, and yeah, if you're interested in joining, you just have something to offer. Not not some, something to offer, but like you have some information you want to give us, or just chill with us for like an hour, an hour or so, bro. Just shoot us a DM or shoot me a DM. You can DM Dreon. You can DM Keem Features. Or you can DM the Centerfold Podcast. And yeah, you can be on here and you can just share some knowledge, bro. Uh, Don't be trying to join the podcast if you don't even follow us, though. That's why I be confused. Don't, if you got you got at least follow us, bro. Don't just ask to join. You got at least follow us or something. I need to let that be known. Uh, so also... My code has left the building building right now. See, this is why we need a third member, bro, because whenever Dre likes to storm off like this, I need someone else I can communicate and talk to. You know, sometimes it gets a little lonely out here because, you know, I work for Andre, and Andre, he really don't be feeding me. Like, I really don't even be getting no food for him for real. He really just, like, leave me in the... He really just be leaving me in the basement. It be cold. He only really leave me with, like, lemonade with pulp in it. First of all, pulp lemonade is probably the gayest and the nastiest thing. Let me not say gayest. Anything with pulp in it is disgusting. Let's just talk about that right now. That that pulp lemonade ain't... He's been storming. I know it. Pulp lemonade is probably the worst thing I've ever drank in my life. Orange juice with the pulp in it, too? Y'all are disgusting. I, would, I don't understand how y'all drink that. I literally want to throw up. I want to throw up. He's back. I can feel him coming. I'm hearing a lot of slander about pulp lemonade over here, Jamari. I wasn't slandering. I'm hearing a lot of slander about some Pulp Lemonade over here. I wasn't slandering. Oh, you weren't slandering? No, no, no. Oh, so so you didn't even say, and I quote, Pulp Lemonade is the worst thing ever. It's the gayest thing ever. Is that what I heard? Did I hear that correctly? Huh? <laughs> huh? Well, if you really listen, I said it wasn't quite the gayest thing ever. What'd you say? It was the na- It was the best thing ever. No, don't worry. I, I'm, I'm going to rewatch this one. You're not going to rewatch this. You're damn right I won't. Because why? I lived it. I lived it. I lived it. I sure did. Anyway. I don't know. While you was going, I just kind of gave a brief little input. I'm probably going to put this at the beginning of the clip and then, you know. Oh, are you? Yeah, probably. But you're not going to release that footage of the last one, huh? I'll put the podcast out. I'll put it out. Oh, really? Yes. I don't believe you. Why would I lie? <laughs> and you tell me. Well, look. I up and down yesterday, Jamari. Up and down yesterday. Well, nobody lying yesterday. Okay. I have it still. It's in the trash. I'll get it out of the trash and I'll put it out. Get the trash and send me a copy, too. So I can make sure. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Nah, send me a copy. What is wrong with send you? Send me a copy. What, what's that gonna do? Send me a copy. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, it don't be me. Send me a copy. Do you want to edit the podcast? You want to edit the audio of it? I, I just want to. I just. I just want a copy. Just send me a copy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, what nobody lying. Just send me a copy. What nobody lying? Just send me a copy. Nobody was lying. Just send me a copy. I wasn't lying. Simply send me a copy. Fine, you can get it. Thank you. You can get it. Get and, if, it. and if you don't release it, I will. It'll get out, bro. That, that, bro, that shit better get out to the public. Oh, one way or another, it's getting out, Jamari. Why you wanted to go out so bad? So, so they can see. See what? 
Like they could see the BS that you'd be pulling. What BS? What happened to the footage when I was torturing you and Tyrell that one day? What happened? Where'd the footage go? Where'd it go? I put that on everything. I don't know where it went. So how does footage just disappear out of thin air like that? That was shot on a little, on a little crusty iPhone, bruh. I don't know what happened. It was shot on that iPhone. I, I mean, my iPhone is technically falling apart. Surprise. That's the case. Doesn't matter. He's a, he's a bitch. Andre, I don't know where that went. Okay. Whatever you say. I'm giving 40 minutes. It's been a good podcast. Wrap it up, bro. I'm Andre. That's a bitch. This has been the Santa Fe Podcast, episode 22 after 21. I'm Huey Lewis, and that was the news.